I'm, now I'm going to do a nest change out on chirpy nest unit number three. This unit is equipped with an owl guard just to help prevent predator owls from attacking. With the chirpy nest, you undo the hooks, take the front panel of the box off, and then you remove the nest tray. These birds are quite a little bit older than what we've looked at before. You see there's three young, approximately 20 to 24 days old. So you notice the wing feathers aren't quite to the tip of the tail feathers. But when the tail feathers, wing feathers get to the tip of the tail feathers, is usually when the birds are old enough to fledge. To do the nest check, what I do, I have a pre-made nest ready to go, and I will slide this nest into the box. But first I'll push out, if you notice, watch that comes out the bottom of the box, old nest material that's been in the box that falls through the nest tray. By pushing that out, it helps keep the nest sanitary. I'll go ahead and slide the new tray in, and then I'll just pick each bird up one at a time, let them back in, and I'll return the door panel. Make sure the straw is not blocking the entrance hole. And I lock the front panel back. And that's all there is to doing a nest change. Now, I want to look at another nest that the birds have already fledged. This unit is F9. And from my records, F9 raised three young birds this year. Both of them, or all three of them, fledged as of the July 8 nest check, which was last week. This unit was one that had not been changed during the whole season. You notice this is the original nest. Not a lot of nesting material brought in other than what I provided in the other early spring, but you do notice all the leaves that are brought in during incubation. Now these leaves are the perfect place to harbor nest parasites, especially the blowfly larvae. I like to move these out and check. You can see all the debris and all the material that ends up in here. Um, As I pull them out, this nest seems to be fairly free of the blowfly, but it's also full of a lot of other material you can see falling out the bottom. But let's look inside the compartment. You can see all the other debris that falls through the box throughout the nesting season. This debris is stuff that normally would be in the nest, but due to the chirpy nest system with the screened bottom, that debris falls through the nest and then can be scraped out of the box during a nest exchange. This nest was not changed during the year just to show the differences between a, a nest that was and a nest that wasn't. But you can see all this debris that they have to sit in and, and stay in during the 26 to 32 days that they are in the nest. Now let's look at the nest. I'll replace this and then we'll look at the nest that I just changed from the box above. I could do that in a second. This nest is the current, again, not a whole lot of nesting material, but this shows the under the screen bottom nesting tray that allows debris to fall through the nest. As we pull back, you can see some blowfly here, a few of the larvae. 
which look like little There's one of the blowfly larvae. These are actually parasites that come up and attach themselves to the young birds that develop in the nest. They suck the blood, especially during the night hours, and then during the day they burrow back down into the nest material between all the leaves that have been built up. And that's how they survive. So they're parasites that, that feed and then return to the bedding and return back to the birds to feed again and they, they live between all these leaf layers. By doing a nest change you get rid of all the leaves that create the layers changing out with straw. As these parasites develop when they go back into the bedding they actually end up on the floor of the compartment and fall through the screened bottom and can be pushed or they wiggle themselves on the bottom and fall out with the sloped bottom they fall out the back entrance to the nesting chamber. The other advantage when we talk about the chirpy nest system with that nesting chamber, it also creates a ventilation through the back opening of the box and through the openings in the front panel and the opening for the birds to enter to help keep the nest cool. All right, so that is our chirpy nest system and a couple of nest change outs.